Hello fellow rail fans, it's TKD Train 2004. This is the first time you get to see me on camera and I figured it's because it's a very special video that's about to follow this brief introduction. Uh, as the clock sits, it's kind of late here in my college dorm room, but I have been spending the time preparing for the big boy video that you are about to see. Uh, it's it's going to be a long day tomorrow, but hopefully as you will see over the next couple minutes, all the planning paid off, and I'm really excited to bring you footage of the big boy during its trip across the eastern side of the state of Nebraska. Let's get out to the high iron and check out where the historic steam locomotive is on this Labor Day weekend. I began my day with an hour and a half drive into Columbus, Nebraska, where on the way to a gas station, Union Pacific locomotive number 561 was on display. While this powerful piece of machinery was great to see, we were on the hunt for something more, so I headed west to intercept Big Boy. At around 10.40 a.m., lights appeared from the east. A large manifest was headed this way on the north track. Thankfully, I was on the south side of the tracks, because just then from the west, there she came over the grade. Big Boy number 4014. My first catch of the day was going to be a meet. Here it is at around 10.42 a.m. After Big Boy's short consist had cleared, we still had a lot of freight train to go. The Big Boy chasers bailed and headed for Columbus, but I stuck around, and I'm glad I did for what came next at mid-train. Big Boy stopped in Columbus, giving me plenty of time to jump her to the small town of Schuyler, Nebraska. I chose this town to stop because of the beautiful water tower that I was going to do my best to shoot. You could tell something was about to happen trackside, since it felt like the whole town, including the volunteer fire department, was standing near the high iron. Approximately 1 p.m. and Big Boy was en route. However, more train action was happening on the busy UP mainline, with this westbound Grainer. Not long after, Big Boy's headlights appeared on the horizon. My spot for my Z90 and tripod ended up being obstructed, but my small camcorder picked up the slack for me and captured this amazing image of the powerful beast.
hurried to the car, since Big Boy was not scheduled to stop until Omaha, and I had one more place to catch it before Nebraska's largest city. This is the Diamond in Fremont, Nebraska. To the left and right is a BNSF controlled line, and straight ahead is the Union Pacific Main. I was glad I picked this spot because Big Boy was slowing down to make a stop in Fremont. Just listen to the Diamond as Big Boy's drivers pound through. With that stop in Fremont, I had plenty of time to jump Big Boy to Omaha. When the Union Pacific was built, the builders erected multiple trestle bridges and filled the trestles up with dirt until they were covered. While Omaha has grown a little since then, a few of the bridges still provide scenic views. Here came Big Boy at approximately 2.30 p.m., announcing its presence to the city folk. Big Boy would stop at the former Omaha Union Station, now Durham Museum, for around two hours, providing me time to go sightseeing to another Omaha landmark. On the screen, you'll see some photos of Kennefick Park, home to Union Pacific Centennial Locomotive number 6900 and Big Boy number 4023. This site overlooks Interstate 80 as it crosses the Missouri River into Iowa. With the significance of the Union Pacific to Omaha, this site is very fitting to welcome travelers into Nebraska. Now you may be wondering how those multi-ton locomotives made their way up that hill. Click the tag in the upper right hand corner after this video to watch a really cool documentary on how the narrow downtown streets of Omaha hosted a big boy for the afternoon. The video will also be linked in the description below. After my sightseeing was over and some McDonald's was eaten, I made my way across the river into Iowa to set up for my final shot. From the fifth floor of the Haraz Cherokee Casino in Council Bluffs, I had an unobstructed view of the Union Pacific's bridge and the Missouri River. From my vantage point, you could see some of the Union Pacific's other trackage along the banks of the river, 
as well as the Union Pacific headquarters in Omaha. I waited for nearly an hour and a half, but finally, some sounds were heard across the river. As the sun began to set, Big Boy made one last move out of Omaha, displaying its true power, getting up to speed. You can still hear the big boy in the background behind me. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and going along with me to chase this legendary steam locomotive. I can't say enough how fun it was to be out here in the eastern part of Nebraska chasing this train. It was a long day. I'm probably sunburnt, but it's, it's well worth it. If you ever get a chance to see the big boy, he's still on tour up until the middle of October. So go check him out before you don't get the chance. From Council Bluffs in Iowa, just across the river from Omaha, this has been Harmon Johnson for TKD Train 2004. Have a great night, everybody, and tune back in next time for more adventures on the high iron.